Timeless life philosophies. Do you ever feel like your fears are holding you back from living your best life? Maybe you're afraid of failure or of what others might think of you. Fear can be a powerful force, but it doesn't have to control you. Today, we're going to explore the teachings of Epictetus, a Stoic philosopher who believed that we have the power to overcome our fears and achieve great things. In this video, we'll discuss six ways to overcome your fears based on Epictetus's philosophy of Stoicism. So if you're ready to take control of your fears and live a more fulfilling life, keep watching. 1. Comprehend fear's meaning. Fear is a powerful force that can hold us back from living our best lives. It's easy to get caught up in worst case scenarios and negative outcomes. But according to Epictetus, fear is not a natural response to danger. Rather, it is a product of our own thoughts and beliefs. We create our own fears by imagining negative outcomes and dwelling on them. In order to overcome fear, we must first recognize that it is not an objective reality, but a subjective interpretation of events. To truly understand what fear is and how it affects us, we need to learn to separate our fears from the facts. We need to focus on the present moment and recognize that fear is often based on speculation and conjecture. We need to recognize that our thoughts and beliefs have a powerful impact on our emotions and that by controlling our thoughts, we can free ourselves from the grip of fear. One way to do this is to practice mindfulness. Mindfulness is the practice of being present in the moment and observing our thoughts and emotions without judgment. By practicing mindfulness, we can develop a greater awareness of our thoughts and emotions and learn to control them more effectively. Another way to overcome fear is to focus on the positive aspects of a situation, rather than the negative. Instead of dwelling on the potential risks and negative outcomes, we can focus on the potential rewards and personal growth that come from facing our fears. This shift in perspective can transform fear into excitement and anticipation, and help us to approach challenges with greater confidence and resilience. Ultimately, to overcome our fears, we need to cultivate a strong sense of self-confidence and belief in our own abilities. We need to recognize that failure is not a reflection of our worth or potential, but rather an opportunity for growth and learning. By embracing our own power and potential, we can overcome our fears and achieve great things. 2. Welcome life's challenges. The second way to overcome your fears, according to Epictetus, is to welcome life's challenges. It's easy to get caught up in the potential risks and negative outcomes of difficult situations, but Epictetus believed that we should instead seek out challenges and use them as opportunities for growth and learning. By embracing challenges, we can transform fear into excitement and anticipation. We can focus on the potential rewards and personal growth that come from facing our fears, rather than dwelling on the potential risks and negative outcomes. Think about it, some of the greatest achievements in history have come from individuals who embraced challenges and overcame their fears. Without facing challenges head-on, we would never have achieved amazing feats like putting a man on the moon, discovering groundbreaking scientific theories, or creating incredible works of art. Challenges can be scary, but they can also be incredibly rewarding. By reframing our perspective on challenges, we can learn to approach them with excitement and anticipation rather than dread and fear. So, the next time you're faced with a difficult situation or challenge, try to see it as an opportunity for growth and learning. Focus on the potential rewards and personal growth that come from facing your fears and embrace the challenge with confidence and resilience. Remember, as Epictetus believed, challenges are not something to be avoided, they are something to be sought out and embraced. By welcoming life's challenges, you can overcome your fears and achieve great things. 3. Have faith in your power to achieve wonders. Do you ever find yourself doubting your own abilities or fearing failure? Epictetus believed that we all have the power to achieve greatness, but that we often hold ourselves back with self-doubt and fear. That's why the third way to overcome your fears, according to Epictetus, is to have faith in your own power to achieve wonders. To truly overcome the fear of failure, we need to develop a strong sense of self-confidence and belief in our own abilities. We need to recognize that failure is not a reflection of our worth or potential, but rather an opportunity for growth and learning. 
By embracing our own power and potential, we can overcome our fears and achieve great things. Think about it, some of the greatest achievements in history have come from individuals who believed in their own power to achieve wonders. Without that belief, we would never have achieved amazing feats like putting a man on the moon, discovering groundbreaking scientific theories, or creating incredible works of art. So how can we cultivate this sense of self-confidence and belief in our own abilities? One way is to focus on our strengths and accomplishments, rather than our weaknesses and failures. We can remind ourselves of past successes and use those as evidence of our own potential. Another way to cultivate self-confidence is to set achievable goals and work towards them. By setting small, attainable goals and achieving them, we can build a sense of momentum and accomplishment that can carry us forward towards bigger challenges. Ultimately, to overcome our fears and achieve greatness, we must embrace our own power and potential. We must recognize that failure is not something to be feared, but rather an opportunity for growth and learning. By believing in ourselves and our own abilities, we can overcome our fears and achieve great things. Remember, as Epictetus believed, we all have the power to achieve wonders. By having faith in ourselves and our own potential, we can overcome our fears and achieve greatness beyond our wildest dreams. So go out there and embrace your own power, you never know what amazing things you might achieve. 4. Overcome the apprehension of others' opinions. The fourth way to overcome your fears, according to Epictetus, is to detach ourselves from the opinions of others and focus on our own values and goals. It's easy to get caught up in what others think of us and let their opinions dictate our actions. But this can lead to fear and anxiety. Epictetus believed that we cannot control the opinions of others, but we can control our own thoughts and actions, and by staying true to our own values and beliefs, we can overcome the fear of judgment and live a more authentic life. One of the key steps to overcoming the apprehension of others' opinions is to recognize that everyone has their own unique perspective and biases. No matter what we do or how we behave, there will always be someone who disagrees or disapproves. Trying to please everyone is a futile effort and only leads to stress and anxiety. Instead, we should focus on what we value and what we believe to be right. We should set our own goals and work towards them, regardless of what others may think or say. By staying true to ourselves, we can live a more authentic life and find greater fulfillment and happiness. Another important step is to learn to accept criticism and feedback without taking it personally. It's natural to feel defensive when someone criticizes us, but often there is valuable feedback that we can learn from. By separating our own self-worth from the opinions of others, we can become more open to feedback and use it to grow and improve. Finally, it's important to surround ourselves with supportive and positive people who encourage us to be our best selves. When we have a strong support system, we are more likely to take risks and pursue our goals, even in the face of criticism or disapproval. Remember, as Epictetus believed, we cannot control the opinions of others, but we can control our own thoughts and actions. By staying true to ourselves and our values, accepting feedback and criticism, and surrounding ourselves with supportive people, we can overcome our fear of judgment and live a more authentic and fulfilling life. 5. Release the dread of mortality. The fear of death is something that many of us struggle with at some point in our lives. It's easy to become consumed with thoughts of our own mortality and the unknown that lies beyond. However, according to Epictetus, our fear of death and the unknown can hold us back from living a full and meaningful life. To overcome this fear, we must learn to accept the inevitability of death and focus on living in the present moment. One of the key steps to releasing the dread of mortality is to recognize that death is a natural part of life. None of us can escape it and dwelling on it will only lead to fear and anxiety. Instead, we should focus on making the most of the time we have and living our lives to the fullest. We can use our fear of death as a motivation to live more fully and to make every moment count. Another important step is to cultivate gratitude for the time we've been given. Instead of dwelling on the fact that our time on earth is limited, we can focus on the blessings and opportunities that life has given us. We can cherish the relationships and experiences that make life worth living and use them to inspire us to live more fully. 
Ultimately, to release the dread of mortality, we must learn to focus on the present moment and make the most of every day. We must recognize that life is short and precious, and that we must use the time we have to make a positive impact on the world around us. By embracing our own mortality, we can overcome the fear of death and live a more fulfilling life. So, the next time you find yourself consumed with thoughts of your own mortality, remember the teachings of Epictetus. Recognize that death is a natural part of life, and focus on living in the present moment. Cultivate gratitude for the time you have been given and use it to inspire you to live more fully and make a positive impact on the world around you. Remember, life is short and precious make every moment count. 6. Cultivate resilience in the face of uncertainty. The sixth and final way to overcome your fears, according to Epictetus, is to cultivate resilience in the face of uncertainty. Life is unpredictable, and at times it can be overwhelming. However, it's important to understand that it's not the events that define us, but our response to those events that truly matters. Cultivating resilience is about developing the ability to bounce back from setbacks and failures and to stay focused on our goals and values, even in the face of adversity. Resilience is not an innate quality. It's something that can be learned and developed over time. It's about building a strong foundation of inner strength and self-belief, which can help us weather any storm that comes our way. One of the key ways to cultivate resilience is to develop a growth mindset. A growth mindset is about seeing challenges and setbacks as opportunities for growth and learning, rather than as insurmountable obstacles. When we approach challenges with a growth mindset, we are more likely to persevere in the face of adversity and emerge stronger and more resilient than ever before. Another important aspect of cultivating resilience is to focus on our values and goals. When we have a clear sense of purpose and direction, we are better equipped to navigate the challenges and uncertainties of life. By staying focused on our values and goals, we can remain motivated and inspired, even in the face of setbacks and difficulties. It's also important to develop a strong support network of friends, family, and mentors who can help us through difficult times. When we have people we can rely on, we are better equipped to handle the challenges and uncertainties of life. Finally, it's important to practice self-care and self-compassion. Resilience is not about pushing ourselves to the brink of exhaustion. It's about taking care of ourselves and nurturing our own well-being. When we make self-care a priority, we are better equipped to handle the challenges and uncertainties of life and to emerge from difficult times stronger and more resilient than ever before. Cultivating resilience is about developing the ability to bounce back from setbacks and failures and to stay focused on our goals and values, even in the face of adversity. By developing a growth mindset, staying focused on our values and goals, building a strong support network, and practicing self-care and self-compassion, we can cultivate resilience and overcome our fears, no matter what challenges life may bring our way. So, there you have it, six ways to overcome your fears, based on the philosophy of Epictetus. By comprehending fear's meaning, welcoming life's challenges, having faith in your power to achieve wonders, overcoming the apprehension of others' opinions, releasing the dread of mortality, and cultivating resilience in the face of uncertainty. You can take control of your fears and live a more fulfilling life. Remember, fear is not a reality, but a state of mind and you have the power to change your mind and overcome your fears.